la campana y frente a frente en el centro del entarimado Jorge Luján y el retador Roberto Rubaldino que anduvo por la calle de la amargura durante el noveno episodio se queja discretamente Rubaldino de un golpe de derecha abajo del cinturón fue en el décimo episodio en el que Jorge Luján noqueó a Alfonso Zamora y oiga usted pues ya andaba repitiendo la suerte frente a Roberto Rubaldino esta noche aquí en San Antonio, Texas por lo pronto el público que estaba muy entusiasmado está empezando a manifestar preocupación ahora después de lo que pasó en el décimo episodio cuando para nosotros inexplicablemente se fue a refugiar en una esquina neutral Roberto Rubaldino y le dejó toda la iniciativa al panameño Jorge Luján. ¿Y a quién, y a quién le dan pan que llore, amigo nuestro? Se aprovechó Jorge Luján y desde ese momento está crecidísimo y véale usted metiendo las manos con una precisión tremenda y ya casi sin respuesta de parte de Rubaldino que lo desafía a que siga entrando, logró un buen golpe de izquierda Rubaldino y en corto trata de repelerlo con la derecha, pero no logra evadir en la luz de cuero que le dispara el panameño. Vuelve a sangrar por la nariz en forma abundante Roberto Rubaldino y a meter las manos casi impunemente el campeón del mundo Jorge Luján. Otra vez la derecha y la izquierda sin ninguna defensa de parte de, Ruber, de Roberto Rubaldino para esos tiros, para esos disparos de un panameño que está crecidísimo y que está desempeñando ahora su papel, su condición de monarca mundial de peso gallo. El hombre que está al otro lado de Carlos Zárate como campeón mundial de peso gallo. Zárate reconocido por el Consejo, Jorge Luján por la Asociación Mundial. Se sigue metiendo las manos Jorge Luján, sobre todo a la derecha, a Roberto Rubaldino y para la pelea en los momentos en que se derrumbaba el retador. Y ahí está la cuenta del referee panameño sobre un Rubaldino que ya no tiene nada y más que nada ya no tiene deseos, aunque ahí levemente hace un movimiento diciendo que va a seguir y lo convencen de que ya no siga. Y amigos nuestros, se ha terminado la pelea, gana por nocaut técnico en el undécimo episodio el panameño Jorge Luján, que conserva así el campeonato mundial de peso gallo. Victoria por nocaut técnico en el undécimo episodio de Jorge Luján, que conserva en su primera defensa la corona mundial de peso gallo. Así, amigos nuestros, hemos llevado a ustedes esta transmisión del de San Antonio. Round one, and here we go. Luhan, of course, in the dark trunks. Garcia in the light. Luhan has an identity problem not known to many people. Though on that September 15th, when Ali recaptured his crown against Spinks, Luhan fought Davila. He was not seen on national television. Incidentally, you may notice in the background that we've got four rope strands. This, a protection for the fighter, as viewed by the Nevada State Commission, makes it less likely that he can fall between the ropes and out of the ring. Fight is wary at the start. Understandable. No doubt Garcia keeps that right glove up by the face. And partly in front of it. Luan, a careful fighter. Neither man a compelling punch. Scheduled 15 rounder. A knockout, quite frankly, would surprise. 
Very, very dull first round thus far. Less than a minute to go. Luan from Panama, Garcia from Nicaragua. Thirty seconds left. Approaching the end of a round that could hardly be called action filled. I can't believe they can do it for 1999. Installed? The Illumini Sears Muzzler is only 1999 installed. And read the Muzzler promise. Sears promises that the Muzzler will last as long as you own your American made car. Or return it for refund or replacement free. And if Sears installed it, they'll install the new one free. Well, you can't beat that. I think it's fantastic. It's a great promise. Sounds like one heck of a good deal. The Muzzler, only 1999 installed. Only at Sears. When you need to rent a truck, for company business or yourself, call Hertz and rent the exact truck you need at a price that can save you money. Hertz has been adding even more new trucks, and that means more reliable trucks, from Econoline vans up to giant tractors. You name it, Hertz rents it. And if you're moving, do it yourself with the easy-to-drive Hertz truck and save. So when you need a Ford or other reliable truck, make Hertz your number one call. There's a location near you. Back live at the Sports Pavilion in Las Vegas, Nevada. Second round action just underway. Forget the first round, it was nothing. Excuse it if you must on the grounds that the fighters were wary and feeling each other out. Jorge Lujan to the right of your screen. Cleo Garcia now with his back closest to the ropes. Now to the right of your screen. Two very careful fighters. Neither with a knockout punch. But you've got to throw some punches to score points. So far, Luan has been doing virtually nothing. This bout for the WBA Bantamweight crown. the word action advisedly. This is the second straight round of this kind of thing. Neither man giving any punishment. Neither man wanting to receive any. Luan finally got in a left. Tried to follow with a right. Didn't score with it. You could get a glimpse there of the quick-handedness of Luan as he picked off Garcia's punch. Again, he picked it off with his right glove. Picked off Garcia's right. Forty seconds left. Three weeks ago, Garcia, who was in training for another fight, learned he'd get the title shot. I watched him run for 45 minutes, work out. There's no question in my mind he's in shape. We 
approach the end of round two. Lujan with a good right lead that startled Garcia and then a left. If you know someone who's still spraying it, help them out. Tell them to get on the stick with Menin Speed Stick. With Menin, you get effective deodorant protection. Speed Stick is solid. Nothing's wasted. It's a lot more deodorant for your money. You can buy this three-ounce can of the leading aerosol, use it up, buy another, use it up, and buy a third before you'd use up one two-and-a-half-ounce speed stick. So if you know someone who's still spraying, tell them to get on the stick with Men in Speed Stick deodorant. Hey, come here. Take a look at this. See? Wow. The McCulloch Chainsaw. This is the Power Mac 320. Look at these teeth. They can sharpen themselves with a the press of this button. Wow. And see this? Is that a tail? No, it's a handle mounted to soak up vibration. What's this? McCulloch's chain break handguard. For safety. That's smart. No other saw at any price has all those features. Yeah, but it doesn't have much personality. And you do? Buy a McCulloch 320. Get $17.89 worth of accessories free. The bell has just rung for round three. Jorge Lujan, the WBA Bantamweight title holder. Now to the left of your screen, Cleo Garcia. Now with his back toward you. The first two rounds, uneventful. I scored the first round even. Nobody did anything. I gave the second round to Lujan because he did score a couple of times. Perhaps he'll begin to open up in this round. Perhaps. Garcia flashing the left but not connected. This is third round. Now Luhan begins to use the gloves a little bit more. That was the second time in the fight that he essayed a right lead. The first time near the end of round two, it startled Garcia, and he was able to follow with a left. The last time he used it, he again connected. Median Norm Crosby in the background there at ringside. He may provide more action than the fight. Lujan got in a good quick left to the chin of Garcia. Again the right lead by Lujan. It's easy to count the blows in a fight like this. There are so few. See Luan pick off that right of Garcia's with his left glove. He's a quick and skillful boxer. Very careful because he is not a puncher and he doesn't want to get hit. Measures blows well, uses his head to slip them effective. As for Garcia, let's let more of the fight develop as we seek to assess him. Although you have to wonder how a fighter with a record of 21, nine and one, losing nine bouts could be rated number two. at the end of round three. Another uneventful round. Garcia scored with a right, finally. Hey, how'd you like some free gasoline when you fill up? <laughs> I like it a lot. Change to new Quaker State Sterling motor oil. You're telling me an oil change? We'll get you better gas mileage. See, Quaker State Sterling is a whole new kind of oil, specially blended to lubricate better than regular oils. Less friction, so your engine will work less hard. And use less gasoline. It'll be like getting extra gas for free. Change to new Quaker State Sterling. It's like getting free gas with every tank full. Ralph, I work harder on weekends than I do during the week. First dandelions, no chickweed. My one. <laughs> Relax. I'd like to. Try new 33 plus. It's 33 weed killers in one can. Wow. So, get through the dandelions, chickweed, even poison ivy. 33 plus does all that? See? 
kills 33 weeds. Great. Only now what'll I do on the weekends? <laughs> New 33 plus. 33 weed killers in one can from Spectrum. Back live at ringside in Las Vegas. Round four coming up. Jorge hey, Luan against Cleo Garcia. Luan with a quick left. Garcia throwing blows but not connected. First three rounds uneventful. Whatever scoring there was, I call the first round even. This is subjective scoring, of course, gave the next two to Luhan. Consecutive misses by both parties. You saw Garcia trying to count a bunch, and you saw the blows picked off by Luhan's gloves. Tried the right lead again. Luan, cautious, but admittedly clever. Garcia, yet to show much, if anything. That right by Luan got in. Left to the belly picked off, the right got in. Fourth round action of a thus far very dull, almost apathetic fight. Garcia trying to attack, but you saw him miss. Luhan out of range. And then the Garcia left against Luhan's right glove. The trademarks of a clever boxer. Luan gets a left in. He doesn't seek to double up on it. Garcia threw a left there that missed. Although his handlers in his corner are saying that's the way, encouraging. As we come close to the end of the fourth round. How quickly they hold and clinch. End of the round coming up. When a $40 million aircraft comes in for a service check, your crew takes over and you take charge. training and skill, but in 10 short hours, it's all systems go. Flight 110 is back on the line. And now comes Miller time. Time to head for the best tasting beer you can find. Miller High Life, America's quality beer since 1855. We've got the time, we've got the beer. Back live, Las Vegas, Nevada, round five. WBA Bantamweight crown at stake, Luan against Garcia. The crowd booing unrelievedly between rounds over the absence of any real action thus far. Place is full, say that. Luan with an occasional flicking left. Missed that time. Garcia with a counter punch that was picked off. Garcia's punches thus far, or attempted punches, have been wild swings. What purpose and method there is, and there's been very little of it, has been in Luan. 
for Lou Hunt's fist. Garcia landed a left. Fifth round action. We'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round we'll take a station break. Luan again trying to get that right into the stomach. Well, Garcia with a couple of lefts. Luan smiling, bouncing after a mild mishap. A minute to go in the fifth round. So far, the fight is in a pattern. Inactive. turned aggressor in this round. Coming to the end of the round, we'll be back with more boxing after this word from our local stations. Introducing Guaranteed Breakfasts. That's right, Jack in the Box restaurants are cooking up pancakes and French toast so good, they come with a money-back guarantee. Golden Brown Aunt Jemima pancakes or real Aunt Jemima French toast served with ham links, butter, and syrup. And if you don't think they taste great, we'll send you your money back. Details at any Jack in the Box. The new pancake and French toast breakfasts at Jack in the Box. Just part of our new breakfast menu so good, it's guaranteed. Wimpus, if this package isn't in Peoria by tomorrow morning, it's your job. Freeman, if this package isn't in Peoria by tomorrow morning, it's your... Benson, if this package isn't in Peoria by tomorrow morning... Harley, if this package is not in Peoria by tomorrow... If more people knew enough to call Federal Express in a situation like this, it sure would save everybody a whole lot of grief. Hello, Federal. Federal Express. When it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. Round six has just gotten underway. We're live at Caesars Palace, the sports pavilion. It's been one of the dullest fights I've ever had the non-privilege of watching. Nobody has really done anything yet. Well, whatever edge lay in the early rounds lay with Jorge Lujan, the defending WBA Bantamweight champion, occasionally scoring with a right lead and sometimes following with the left. In the fourth, uh, in the fifth round, Garcia turned the mild aggressor. The WBC champion, of course, is Carlos Zarate, who was an authentic bomber. Garcia with a miss. Garcia missed again with the left. Luan countered with the right. You see Luan throw a combination, then back off. Garcia becomes the aggressor. Garcia's problem is when he throws blows, he lands one out of maybe four or five. Luan's problem is caution, and he can't punch. Yeah. See, Garcia 
see him missed again. Lohan snapped in a mile left jack. Less than a minute to go in the round. Lohan with the right lead to the chest. Lohan has 11 knockouts and 21 fights, and Garcia has but seven in 31. Doubled on the left, didn't he? Coming to the end of the sixth round. You're out! Sorry, kid. Uh, Got to take you out of cleanup. Over six million shavers have said goodbye to their old razors and said hello to Atra, Gillette's best shave. Micro-smooth twin blades and Atra face-hugging action combine to outshave every razor we've ever made. Close. Very close. Atra, Gillette's best shave. Atra, you're in a league by yourself. When Napa first made the claim that lots of Napa parts are better than your car's original parts, some folks were skeptical. Better than the original? Better than the original? Better than the original. So before we could make that claim on TV, we were told to do one small thing. Prove it! So we did. Lots of Napa parts are better than your car's original parts. So visit your Napa Auto Parts store. Napa. We help keep America moving. Back live, round seven, getting underway. Scheduled 15 rounder. We may get a round of action yet. Oh, hey, Luhan, the right of your screen. Cleo Garcia, the left. Right there, you saw the point I've been making about Garcia. He threw two punches connected on Nathan. Luhan got in one quick left, but didn't double up. Garcia missed. Garcia getting encouragement right above us from his handlers as he threw a right. Look at that. Rohan does double.